let me tell you this if a servant of God is being shown something any vision that a servant of God is seeing it must bring a spirit of humbleness can I say that again any vision that a servant of God is given that vision must bring a spirit of humbleness because if you are standing with God you totally de depend on the Holy Spirit are you hearing me? and losing connection with him is like losing your calling Hallelujah. Losing a connection, if you, you know you are, if you know you are not using anything, you, you depend totally on the Holy Spirit. Now, losing connection with Him is like losing your own calling. So if you speak something that God has told you, it must bring you down. I always tell people that it's very easy to tell whether they are coming from God or not. It's very easy. You see them, how they speak, how they are full of themselves. Remember the Bible says, God doesn't want to be mixed with anything. Let's allow him to be God in us. If I speak something, glory must be given to God, not me. Are you hearing me? But if a servant of God wants to say something, and he wants credit to be given to him. Aye. There's something wrong there. I don't know if you're hearing what I'm saying. Yeah? If a servant of God reveals something and he wants credit, you know, you must clap your hands. Just know something is wrong. Because anything that we speak as the children of God, as a man that is coming from God, it must bring you to humbleness. Did you hear that? It must, it must, it, in fact, that's how God will show you more, 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 more. I don't know if you heard that. That's how God will do it. will show you more. When Jesus Christ, after he do things, he will say, don't tell anyone. Why? Because he wanted people to understand that it, it's not me who's doing these things. It's God. This is the time that a church of God must remove its eyes from people. And we make sure that our eyes are facing straight towards God. Can I say that again? This is the time that the church of God must do what? You move your eyes from pastors. Are you hearing me? You, you allow your eyes to, to focus on God. Let me say it again. This is the time that the church of God must do what? must remove their eyes from pastors. Your eyes must look unto God. You will never be lost, I'm telling you. Can I, can I say it again? Before I speak with you. I'm saying this is the time that the church of God because there's a lot of confusion now. Pastors are now representing Holy Spirit. They are now they have replaced Holy Spirit now. Pastors have done what? They have replaced Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Are you hearing what I'm going to tell you? Can you remove your eyes from people? 
Huh? And you set your eyes upon the rock, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Huh? You will never, I mean, one day I was very much shocked when I was reading comments of Christians, the way Christians will insult you about their pastor. Hey! Hey! I said, are these people Christians? Say thank, thank you, Holy Spirit, for opening my eyes. Say thank you, Holy Spirit, for opening my eyes. I want to do what is right. Listen, here in Charis, we'll teach you the truth. Not so. Huh? Yeah. We'll teach you the truth. <laughs>